Hi, I'm Yash, and today let's do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off with some white, touch of blue, and just a touch of black. I'll come over here and you know, just drop it in. I'm using an angular brush to paint this. Cut those fine edges. Just like that. Taking more of blue. Yeah. Thing like that I've added some black to that same color and I'll go ahead and drop in this okay, and then, you know, you could even make use of the three-quarter brush but I'll just make use of this Without cleaning the brush, I went into some cad yellow, yellow ochre, sap green. Okay, let's go ahead and paint in this one. Look at that, that helps. That color which I used previously helps. Still using the same brush. I've added more of yellow ochre. And that's going to be the shadowy part. And this is mid tone color because of that blue in that. That nullifies the brightness. Grabbing more of yellow ochre. If you want, you can blend these two together. Without cleaning the brush, with that same brush, I'll go ahead with some cad yellow and just dropping it in over here. Okay, I'll pick up some green. I'll pick up some green as we go there. That just like that. And I've added just a tinge of black to this. You know, maybe some moss is present next to the water. And just drop it in. Just like that. Just blocking in at this point. Now the other side as well. I'll go ahead and shape in my water. As you go there, it'll get a bit darker. I'll take in the color of this mountains, mix it with the cad yellow. Okay, something like that. Now the darker version of this color, I'll go ahead and you know just drop in this mountain. Okay, then make the bottom and they're just very well defined and if you want you can blend some parts to make it look natural and I'll go over here and you know just dropping it in make sure that you have a sketch for paintings like these now to that color I've added some white and let's go ahead and paint in this part Bring it a bit inside that mountain. It's, it's not going to be straight. And then some over here too. With that same brush, I've taken some cad yellow and I'll drop in this part with the very corner of the brush. 
maybe there's going to be some shade over there so I just penetrate into that mountain color and then some over there too just a bit of land and sunlight I've added some white to these mountain colors these bluish black gray colors let's go over here and you know just drop it in okay like that I'm gonna take more of that color and you know it's gonna be dark over here too maybe as you come down over here it's gonna get darker As you go towards the top, I'll just take in pure white and go and I'll penetrate into this color and I'll go ahead with that. Yeah, and you can bring that color inside. Do not treat them as two separate colors. Penetrate into the color which you have painted first in these cases. Take in more of white. Like that. It's going to be light over there and bring all these colors together go very lightly and gently and some over here too some over there and it's going to be darker over there start blending them all grabbing more of white and just making them softer go very lightly don't overdo things go back with that lighter color and start blending them in some black and blue with the detailed round brush and go over here you know and drop in the starting point of this water it's gonna come off like that just you know defining the edges it's very important it's like that and over here too And I'll go ahead and blend these all together. Okay, and then some over here too. Now it's some green color made from blue and cad yellow. I'm using blue deliberately because these are far comparatively and you know some over here too. Like that. Very lightly tap it very very lightly if you tap hard the paint which is there inside the brush will come out okay just like i don't want it to be everywhere just creating the shape of this mountain oops i put it there over there these are mountains with some greenery okay. And I find a bit over here too. Using the combo brush. Now, and you can scrub it very lightly. Now the brighter color. I'll come over here and you know just brighten up these, just like that. Don't want it to be everywhere. Just you know, doing it here and there randomly, but don't want it to be super loose. Do some over here too. Okay, 
just tapping it some over here to just tap it just to indicate some things happening there now with darker color I'll just go ahead and you know give these shape something over there another one over here too I wipe off the brush and just blending them all together make sure that you have at least a tinge of blue Like that. Go into some CAD yellow again. I'm just gonna tap it. Like that. Very lightly and very slowly. If you do it slow, you can get that effect. I like that shape. Just tap it. I've taken some black along with cad yellow and let's drop in some detailings over here just tapping it okay and then bring it inside this one to make it look like it's one single piece I'm using number two fan brush Do not paint the backdrop of this too dark or too light. Let's change the angle of the brush. Turn the brush. the bottom it's gonna get darker and just take that darker color up and decrease the pressure and let it be fairly brighter and maybe the lights coming across like that then the same over here to going it to it very very gently And then whether I skip that spot, no, just like that, just tapping it. Okay, now that same brush, and without loading any paint, after with that, I've, I'm going to paint this. Let's just tap it very gently. Make sure that you have very little amount of paint. Something like that and some over there. Over there it's gonna get darker. Slightly darker, not much, slightly. Ooh. Just scrubbing it. Now I have to load in some color because that's very little paint to paint over here. And I'll just you know, tap it in very lightly and very gently, creating some texture. Just like that, skip some spots. As you come to the bottom, the angle of the brush changes. The corners dark. Now that same brush, I've taken in some cad yellow and white. 
I'm just gonna drop in the highlights of this mountain. Just tapping it over here too. And tap it with the finger. Follow the angle, follow the direction. And some over here too. Just highlighting these mountains with greenery. Just flicking it up to indicate some trees and stuff. The separation between this mountain and the land. Now that cad yellow without cleaning the brush I'll go over here and you know just drop in some greenery very lightly as you go to the, towards the shadow side and maybe you know it's gonna come off like that with number two fan brush over here too it's gonna come off like that just gonna tap it and leave some texture because that's darker and that dark indicates that it's closer taking some black without cleaning the brush again and just tapping it to create more of that texture now with some white and cad yellow i'll come over here and drop in just some highlights to these mountains tap it at the place where they meet between the shadow and the lighter region let's go ahead and add in some shadow over here Just tap it. Now with the detailed round brush, after thinning the paint, I'll just go ahead and drop in the separation and don't make it look like a straight line. You can follow the shapes and angles. So you can just tap it very lightly. Now with some white and blue, and just go ahead and drop in some sky action. Just dropping the sky in. Very lightly as you come towards the bottom. Could even add in some white, you know, to make it look misty or far off there. I'll go ahead and drop in another coat of highlight just to brighten this. You can fill it, tap it, and you can tap hard if you want to yeah let's go ahead and add in the separation between this mountain and that just tapping it very gently okay and i find some over here too now to get back that texture along with that brightness i'll just take a some black very little black just step in it so with this i come to the end of this painting i hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching